All right. So, hey, I'm Couture Jackson, Executive Director of Child Care Resource Center, and we're applying for Chick-fil-A's True Inspiration Award. Over 75% of the children in our community aren't enrolled in licensed child care, and only 50% of the children show up at kindergarten ready to learn. The focus of our proposal is to develop a strategy to support these families and provide early learning opportunities for their children. We've offered two research-based curriculum for individuals caring for children that are not their own. And we are, would like to use this funding to request dollars to support uh, the work with families in our community. And so we'd like to offer Kinder Music and Kaleidoscope as um, programs to help families support early learning for their younger children. And so I have with me right now, Miss Elena Romero, and she is gonna share a little bit about her work with Kinder Music and Kaleidoscope and how this has impacted the families in our community. So, hey, Elena. Hi, Ms. Katura. Thank you for having me. I am so excited uh, to share with you some of, them of our experiences here at Latino Community Services with children. Um, first and foremost, um, I came here to a Latino Community Services uh, excited about the programs that I had been made aware of. And as an educator, it's important for me to have my students and, and be able to support not only the students, but the families and the care providers with, with uh, being able to uh, help the child in their child development. So one of our stories that I have for you today is that um, a lot of the families come on in and we are talking about children from one month old all the way to three to four year olds. And uh, we have had, as a matter of fact, one student that joined us at one month old and he's now 10 months old. And it's so exciting to see him be um, so active and in, in tune with what we're doing as far as activities are concerned. But the part that I think is the most joyful one for us is that we see the children uh, come in and they know that we have pre-K. So they know that this is their escuelita. That means their little school. They come in, we, we teach the activities, the programs for either kinder music or kaleidoscope. And they are adjusting because they're coming here every time to learn. So they know that the next step, and this is where the adjustment is so um, easy for them, is that they know that the next time that they are able to come, they are going to go to pre-K. And so it makes the transition for children from our program to uh, pre-K and from pre-K to kinder, very easy. And as an educator, I agree in the sense that I have noticed some of the children that have never been in pre-K having a difficult time adjusting to kindergarten, adjusting to the next grade level, being stressed because they don't know what's gonna happen next. I believe firmly that children should start at a very early age, such as our one month old that is now 10 months old. He knows what's going to happen every time he comes to our class, but he also goes to his brother's class in pre-K. He knows his brother goes there for his escuelita. So by the time that child reaches his brother's age, it's going to be easy adjustment for him to go from our program to pre-K and from pre-K to kindergarten. And that is one of my stories that I am so excited to share with you. Uh, another story that I like to share with you is our own uh, pre-K assistant. She said to me one day that I was on a rampage trying to be figure out statistical ways of being able to help and be able to um, you know, improve our programs and so forth. Um, I was sharing with her about some of my ideas and she said, you know, Miss Elena, I agree with you. I agree with you as far as children being able to be educated at early on. And the reason I say that, she said, not as an 
not only as an educator, but also as a mother. She said, you see, my oldest went straight to kinder and had a very hard time adjusting through his um, elementary school years. And he still has a hard time adjusting. He's a 14 year old right now. The youngest, she went to pre-K, had no problem adjusting to kinder and the other grades. As a matter of fact, she is at her top of her class and she is uh, 10 years old. So that goes to show you a, a difference in how, how effective and the importance of children being educated at a very early age. It really helps with the child development. The other thing that I really like about it is that our FFN families, we support them through these programs. There are, are um, actually, they're the ones that are the encouragement for these children. Because of them, these children come to these programs. So they initiate this journey for them. And they're the greatest supporters that we can have. And that's why we encourage these programs to help support them with, you know, with the children that they care for. And so those are a couple of our success stories that we've had here with the programs that we share with our care providers in uh, Play and Learn. Well, thank you so much for sharing. And I'm sure that um, you have given an idea of the impact of the work that you're doing and how our organizations are partnering to do this work in our community. So thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure, Ms. Katora.